Coming in at number 10 today, we have Miley Cyrus. Entering into the spotlight at a young age thanks to her role on the show Hannah Montana, which co-starred her dad, Billy Ray Cyrus, who was a huge country star in the early 90s. At the time, the two shared a close bond. However, jump to today and the two are no longer on speaking terms. A source would then spill to the sun that Billy Ray's divorce to Miley's mom, Tish, had a massive impact on the wrecking ball hitmaker who had unfollowed her dad on social media. While speaking about the ongoing feud, the source would then mention Miley is all about peace, but she didn't agree with some things that her father has done. It really escalated and they are not on good terms. Neither of them at this moment are particularly eager to make amends right now without an apology. Apparently their disagreement all started when Billy Ray Cyrus got engaged to his new girlfriend Fire Rose, who he met on the set as one of the young actresses working on Hannah Montana with Miley. Number 9, Kate Hudson. Back in 2021, Kate Hudson Hudson would open up about her complex family dynamic, including her estrangement from her father. In an interview with Today, the actress would speak about growing up distant from her dad, who is a musician and actor, Bill Hudson. In the interview, Kate would say, I think estrangement is unfortunately quite common. I think it's important for people to talk about that. If they can't reconnect or if it's too challenging, that's okay, right? I have a great family. I have a beautiful mother. I have a stepfather who stepped in and played a huge, huge part in sharing what it is to have a dependable father figure in our life. But it doesn't take away from the fact that we didn't know our dad. Even though Kate is estranged from her dad, she would know that she has gone through a process that made her look at her dad and realize that she does still have love for him and that the love will never go anywhere. However, her healing process has been pretty personal and she feels like sometimes people just want to hear that they're not alone in that. Number 8, Drew Barrymore. Many people don't know that Drew Barrymore comes from a family full of actors, which starts with her great grandparents who were both stage actors and since has continued on as each generation of her family has had members that have gained some measures of success in the industry. For instance, Lionel Barrymore, who was born in 1978, was best known for playing Mr. Potter in It's a Wonderful Life. And Drew's mother, Jade, is not the most successful member of the clan, but she was acting in a large array of projects and earned herself some notary when Jade also did pose for Playboy. And she's mostly just famous because of Drew's successful acting career. Considering that Drew followed her into the industry, you may have forgotten at one point of their lives they seem to be pretty close, but that's actually not the case. As Drew is pretty much estranged from her mom, and she's even been quoted saying, can't really be in each other's lives. Being emancipated from her parents since the age of 14, Drew knew she had to get away from her mother at a young age because at the age of nine, her mother was making her adopt this party lifestyle while bringing her to Studio 54. While Drew was able to forgive her parents, she said that she will always be there for her mom, but sometimes she realizes that their chemistry and behavior will drum up a feeling that makes her say that she needs a break again. Hey, my little peaches, are you liking this video so far? If so, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Number seven, Brody Jenner. Now, Brody Jenner is famous due to the accomplishment of people he is related to. That is actually a thing that is possible in modern society. Now, if you don't know who Brody Jenner is, he is the son of athlete who competed as Bruce Jenner, who later married into the Kardashian family and then publicly transitioned into becoming the beautiful Caitlyn Jenner and the stepson of Kris Jenner, the leader of the Kardashian media empire. While Brody was briefly featured on the reality TV series Keeping Up with the Kardashians at one time, things have since gotten a little less cordial. After she and Caitlyn had been separated, Brody has not kept his feelings towards his former stepmother or her children a secret. He even came for the Kardashian empire when he was quoted saying that the Kardashians are not his family, but more of a profanity laced manner at Coachella in 2016. In an earlier interview, he would also reveal that he had cut ties with Chris. Number six, and Lindsay Lohan. Lindsay Lohan is one of those celebrities that was so big at one point in the industry that she actually was able to make her family become minor celebrities. But it's pretty sad to say that her parents owe their low level of fame due to their defunctional relationship with their daughter. Things between Lindsay Lohan and her mother, Dina, have been pretty difficult in the past with the actress and singer making several negative statements about her mother, but it seems like it's really Lindsay's dad, Michael, that Lindsay has the most troubles with. As Lindsay has even revealed her distaste for her father by even going as far to record a song that highlighted her treatment from her father. And she has even once described her father, Michael, as being a lunatic. Just by judging 
regarding their past history, we can totally understand why Lindsay has chosen to live her life without her father's shadow, as he has done some pretty outrageous things to her. For an example, do you remember when he once recorded a phone call she made to him when she felt like her mother was out of control, and then he turned around and sold the private conversation to the media? If your parents saw you as a commodity to give them fame and money, you'd probably turn away from them as well too. Number five, Angelina Jolie. Arguably at one point, Angelina was the biggest actress in the world, and she will always be remembered for her roles in films like Tomb Raider, Mr. and Mrs. Smith, Maleficent, and many more. Being the daughter of John Voight, her dad was also one of the most famous actors in the world at one point due to his work in movies like Midnight Cowboy and Deliverance, and still gets regular acting work to this day. Running in a lot of the same circles, you would think that this quality may draw them closer to another, but it's far from that case. It appears that both actors have struggled to have a strong relationship since Angelina was eight years old. While it looks like they had moments of reconciliation, signs of severe rifts have surfaced. While John has pleaded with Angelina to get help in some public interviews, instead of listening to her dad, she's taken things to another level and completely erased him from her life. She even legally changed her name from Angelina Jolie Voint to Angelina Jolie to obviously make a jab at her father, which is actually pretty messed up. Number four, the Jacksons. There is no doubt that the Jackson family is one of the most celebrated families when it comes to the history of music. First coming into prominence due to the Jackson 5, they would gain huge success. Nobody could have ever expected the group would be that huge and overshadowed in the years to come. When Michael went out on his own as a solo star, he became one of the biggest celebrities alive and was nicknamed the King of Pop for good reasons. Not one to stay in the shadows, even his little sister Janet would follow her brothers into the music industry and outdid everyone other than Michael, whose career she arguably rivaled with at one time. With so many superstars coming from one single family, it looks like they can owe a lot of their acclaimed fame to their father, Joe, who from all the accounts pushed them hard to be as close as perfect as possible. Unfortunately, that came in the forms of physical altercations, which he admitted to in 2010, and because of that, he was seen by his kids and much of the public as a monster, especially when it came to his altercations with Michael Jackson. As a result, there have been reports that Michael couldn't forgive him, and Joe has largely been excommunicated from his large family. Number three, Anna Chickadee Cardwell. For those of you who aren't really fans of reality TV, then you may have no idea who Anna Chickadee Cardwell is. But for anyone who enjoys reality TV, then you most likely know who she is, thanks to the spin-off of a highly controversial show called Toddlers in Tiaras. The show Here Comes Honey Boo Boo focused on a unique beauty pageant family that all go by interesting nicknames like Sugar Bear and Chubbs and one of the daughters who went by Chickadee. And she's grown up and has her own family since the cancellation of the show that introduced her to the world. Her relationship with her mother has become strained, publicly claiming that Mama June, as she is known, misappropriated the fun she earned from appearing on the show. It's clear that Anna holds a lot of anger towards her mother. While June has continued to deny Anna's claims, she has stated that the money was sent directly to her daughter's bank account. And the distrust between them means that June is not allowed to have unsupervised contact with her granddaughter. And number two, we have Dimitri Bell. When Dimitri Bell first got drafted into the Buffalo Bills NFL team in 2008, Bell played well enough that he was able to continue to play for the Cowboys as late as 2013. Like all professionals, he has been the topic of a lot of discussions, but his career isn't the first reason he has been on the lips of people. That is because he is the son of 14 time NBA All-Star player Carl Malone, and his relationship with his dad has never been anything close to controversial. The child of Gloria Bell, who was only 13 years old at the time of his birth, and his father, who was 20 the year he was born, spent years denying he fathered a child with a minor. When Bell finally learned about his parentage and met his father after graduating from high school, he finally met his father and his father would tell him it was too late to have a father and son relationship. According to reports, Bell is said to be ashamed of the relationship he shares with his father, which is a strong indication that he has a lot of justified anger towards his father. Number one, Francis Bean Cobain. Being the child of Nirvana frontman Kurt Cobain and his wife Courtney Love who fronted the band Hole, since Francis Bean Cobain was born, she was instantly put into a position that 
meant the world was likely to pay attention to her. And while it seemed like she should have had a life full of luxury and peace, it was actually far from that. When Francis' father took his own life when she was a child, Courtney would fall into perils of substance and addiction, and Francis' home life would become very difficult. Despite being a child of music icon, Francis doesn't see her father in the same light that much as the world sees her father in. Instead, Francis feels like Kurt abandoned her in the worst possible way, and she isn't exactly fond of her mom. When Francis was finally able to emancipate herself from her mother, Francis would break off nearly all contact she had with her mother for years, to the point that when Francis tweeted out to her mom in 2012, it was seen as a breakthrough between them. Number 10, Macaulay Culkin. The actor who rose to fame with the Home Alone movies sued his parents for emancipation and $17 million when he was just 16. In 1997, he claimed that his father, Kid Culkin, mismanaged his earnings and forced him to sleep on the couch. He told Empire last year, quote, it's always misconstrued that I emancipated myself from my parents. So the former child star became financially separated from his parents as a teenager in the midst of their battle for his custody, where his multi-million dollar fortune was at stake. Stories circulated that the star sued his parents for 13 million and divorced them as legal guardians to stop them from controlling his future. But Culkin has since spoken up about the emancipation and cleared the air when it comes to what happened. He told Empire in 2020, quote, I legally took my parents' names off of my trust fund and found an executor, someone who would look over my finances, just in case anyone wanted to stick their effing pinky in the pie. But the next thing you know, the story was that I divorced my parents. I just thought I was doing it cleanly, taking my father's name off, taking my mom's name off. So my opinion is unbiased. And when I did that, the whole thing kind of ended a lot faster. Well, it seems like he definitely made the right decision. Number nine, Ariel Winter. While being a child star on screen can be tricky, the actress's family life off screen has been equally problematic. In recent years, Ariel has been open and honest about the emotional and physical mistreatment that she suffered at the hands of her mother, Crystal Workman. She told The Hollywood Reporter, quote, my mother would dress me in the smallest miniskirts, sailor suits, low cut things, the shortest dresses you've ever seen. People thought I was 24 when I was 12. If there was going to be a nude scene when I was that age, my mother would have a thousand percent said yes. And the result of that treatment was that Ariel was often over sexualized because of her mother's actions. In addition, Crystal allegedly placed her daughter on strict diets and encouraged partying late at night even when she needed to be on set early the next day. She finally decided to emancipate herself at 14 and went on to live with her sister Chanel until she turned 18. To this day, her mother has only lashed out at Ariel for leaving and has even publicly insulted her fashion choices. I just want to see her have respect for herself and have some class. Ariel is starving for attention. Talk about issues. Number 8, Rose McGowan. The charmed actress's childhood was anything but normal. In 2011, she revealed that her family was involved with the controversial Children of God cult when she was a child. Basically, it was a free love, hippie dream gone horribly wrong that has been blighted by disturbing allegations since it was originally formed in 1968. Unfortunately, Rose and her family were deeply caught up in their web, and it was only when her father learned that the cult's leaders planned to endorse encounters between children and adults that they escaped in order to protect Rose, who was only nine years old at the time. But the rest of her youth was far from happy as long as she was under her father's roof. So Rose decided to take action. Quote, I emancipated myself when I was 15. By then I was living in the back of a friend's house in Hollywood and had about 25 cents to my name. So I represented myself in court. I needed to have control of my own life. Although she managed to get away from her parents, it ended up being a challenging time for the actress as she went through a period of homelessness but looking at how far she's come now, it's clear that escaping her parents eventually led to her monumental success. Number 7, Corey Feldman. The Stand By Me actor was granted emancipation from his parents at age 15, who he claimed had mistreated him as a child and stole nearly $1 million of his fortune. When discussing the predatory side of show business, Feldman told The Hollywood Reporter that his parents did very little to ensure his safety in the industry. In fact, he revealed that one of the men who 
accepted him as a teenager was actually an employee of his father's and that his father also coaxed him into trying every single illicit substance that he'd ever done. When speaking of his parents, Feldman called them selfish and said that they were more interested in what was happening with themselves than what was happening in his own life. My manager father sued me for $40,000 when I tried to get emancipated. His reasoning being that he was taking time away from his business to be on the set with me. So apart from becoming money hungry, his parents also turned a blind eye to the darkness that loomed behind his rise to fame. And as a result, Feldman suffered physical, emotional, and violence at a time when his career seemed to be at its peak. Number 6 Jennifer Aniston The Friends star married Brad Pitt in the year 2000, which was a beautiful wedding for the then Hollywood id couple. But most notably, Jennifer Aniston's mother was missing from the wedding, and according to Jen, this was for a good reason. In an interview with Ellen in 2018, the actress opened up about why she went years without talking to her mother Nancy Dow, saying, quote, She was critical. She was very critical of me. Because she was a model, she was beautiful, magnificent, I wasn't. I never was. She added that her mother was very unforgiving and would hold long grudges. Jen said that while she was a little girl who only wanted to be loved, her mother was too busy with things that didn't really matter. In fact, it was only a year before her marriage to Brad Pitt in 1999 when Nancy wrote a tell-all book about her and Jen's relationship. From mother and daughter to friends. After it was published, Jen decided to cut contact with her mother. They ended up reuniting several years later and by Jen's marriage to her second husband Justin Thoreau in 2015 they were finally on speaking terms. But the funny thing is that Nancy still wasn't invited to that wedding either. Meghan Markle The Duchess of Sussex and her father were estranged before her 2018 wedding to Prince Harry, but she reportedly still hoped that he would show up for her big day, which put even more strain on their almost non-existent relationship. Just two days before the wedding, Thomas Markle gave an interview to TMZ where he claimed that he decided not to attend Meghan and Harry's wedding in order to avoid causing his daughter any further embarrassment. After admitting to conspiring with a photographer to pose for a series of staged paparazzi photos, the former lighting designer also underwent surgery after having a heart attack the week before the wedding, so his health was also called into question. According to the book Finding Freedom by Omid Scobie and Carolyn Durant, Meghan was humiliated that her father didn't attend her wedding and heard that he backed out of walking her down the aisle. And although she was upset that her father was speaking with tabloids and staging photo ops ahead of her wedding, she still made arrangements to fly him to London so that he could be there for her special day. But ultimately, Meghan became so estranged from her father that they reportedly weren't even in contact when she and Harry welcomed their son Archie in May of 2019. Number 4 Eminem When we're talking about rocky relationships with parents, none are more well documented in music than Eminem's estranged relationship with his mother. In fact, speaking about her failings as a parent is part of the reason that Debbie Mathers Briggs decided to sue her son in 1999 when he was just 26 years old. Debbie wanted $10 million in damages, and according to Eminem's lawyer, she had been threatening to sue him since the success of his single, My Name Is. She also took issue with her son's lyrics about his upbringing, calling them total fabrications. She told MTV News in 2008, Quote, I wasn't happy when he made up a whole new life for himself. What mother wants to be known as a pill-popping alcoholic who lives on welfare? To tell the truth, I was heartbroken. The lies started coming in thick and fast. I think he's forgotten the good times we had. But Eminem's music did have a lot of truth to it, as his mother fell pregnant with him when she was only 18, and his father abandoned him when he was born. From that point on, they struggled financially and moved around a lot. So after having gone through so much hardship together, it's sad that their relationship eventually ended entirely. Number 3 Drew Barrymore She became a star at the ripe old age of 7 when she played Gertie in 1982's E.T. and she was born into a famous family of actors, so she was truly meant for show business. However, behind the curtain of her star-studded life, there was a lot of darkness. According to The Guardian, Drew Barrymore's father, John, was a raging alcoholic, and her mother, Jade, lacked parental responsibility, and she also acted as Drew's manager and put her to work in show business at only 11 months old. But when her parents divorced, the young actress was left with her mother, who frequently took her out to party at Studio 54, where she was exposed to illicit substances and a lifestyle that was meant for adults. 
But by the age of 13, Drew had already been in rehab and had been institutionalized. In fact, it was a psychiatric hospital that suggested that she should emancipate herself as they believed that she would be better off on her own. Drew agreed, cut contact with Jade and at 14 years old she was already living by herself. The actress would be estranged from her mother for decades and recently revealed on Oprah that she was not present at her wedding because they both discussed it beforehand and thought that it would be best. Number 2 Brie Larson Some of the inspiration for her emotionally wrenching performance in the movie room comes from her own life and difficult childhood. The 32 year old actress told Elle that her parents divorced when she was a young girl and she hasn't seen or spoken to her father in 10 years. When legally I didn't have to have visitation with him anymore, I jumped on it. As a kid, I tried to understand him and understand the situation, but he didn't do himself any favors. I don't think he ever really wanted to be a parent. In fact, Brie said that she hasn't spoken to her French Canadian father since 2005. Her parents, Sylvain and Heather, were chiropractors who had their own business in Sacramento but would eventually divorce while Brie was still very young. But despite her strained relationship with her father, the actress is still close with her mother, who accompanied her to the US premiere of Room. Quote, My mom created this amazing world, and I never remembered it as being a time where things were tight and we were just eating top ramen and 99 cent Jack in the Box top. Tacos. I didn't have any toys. It didn't feel that way to me at all. It didn't feel sparse. So she clearly still appreciates that her mother did her best to raise her as a single parent. And coming in at number one, Frances Bean Cobain. In 1992, when Frances was just weeks old, child welfare officers removed her from her parents' home for a short period of time following the publication of a Vanity Fair article that alleged that Courtney had used illicit substances during her pregnancy. The investigation was eventually eventually dismissed and Frances was returned home. 11 years later, Courtney lost custody of her daughter again after being arrested for an attempted break-in at her ex-boyfriend's home. Kurt's mother was appointed as Frances' guardian until Courtney regained custody almost two years later following a stint in rehab. Ironically, Courtney herself fought for and won legal emancipation from her own parents while she was still a teenager because she no longer wanted to be associated with her parents Linda Carroll and Hank Harrison. Meanwhile, Frances wanted to file for emancipation from her mother when she was 17, but instead she just got a temporary restraining order against her and her paternal grandmother and aunt were given custody at the time. Frances went on RuPaul and Michelle Visage's podcast and explained that at the time her mother was a very loud addict. When I stepped away from all those antics, I was looking for the most normal thing I could find, and clearly that was her paternal grandmother at the time. At number 10 we have Kate Hudson. Since Kate Hudson was a child, her father hasn't been a part of her life. In 2021, Kate sat down for an interview with Today, and during the interview, she told them that she was no longer speaking to her father due to an issue that started 41 years ago. She went on to state, I think estrangement is unfortunately quite common, and I think it's important for people to talk about that. If they can't reconnect, or if it's too challenging, that's okay, right? She then went on to add that she has a stepfather who stepped in and played a huge part in showing her what it is to have a dependable father figure, but that didn't take away from the fact that she never knew her real dad. While Kate has chosen to forgive in her father, she understands that him not being a part of her life has probably been very painful for him, and he's just going to have to live with that pain. And number nine, we have Heather Graham. Heather was raised by a Catholic family, with her father working in the FBI and her mother being a school teacher. At one point in Heather's life, they threatened to send her off to become a nun so she would behave better. After leaving high school, Heather would eventually stop speaking to her parents. As the star didn't care to dwell on the estrangement, she has declined to talk about her mother and dad as she's worried her words might be misconstructed. In 2013, the actor's mom and dad did allegedly tell the son that they never pressured their daughter to become a nun and they didn't understand the reason between their rift. Up until Heather started the film Boogie Nights, her parents did recall them having a happy and close relationship and when the film came out, it destroyed their relationship. Hey Peaches, are you enjoying this video so far? If so, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. At number 8 we have Christina Aguilera. Christina Aguilera has had a turbulent relationship with her father since she was a child. The singer has openly spoken out about her relationship and her parents and how her father physically and emotionally affected her life as well as her mother's life. Christina has also said that her greatest moment as a child was actually the day her parents got divorced. In 2012, Christina did share 
earlier that she was willing to put the two differences aside to meet up with her father. However, there's never actually been a report on whether the two did sit down face to face with each other. Christina has also acknowledged that her experience with her father has made her a strong woman she is today. While watching her dad treat her mom wrongfully, it made her realize that she never wanted a man to take advantage of her like that, and she was never going to let a man tell her what she could and couldn't do. At number 7 we have Demi Lovato. Demi Lovato is somewhat of an open book as a star is never scared to shy away from admitting her struggles and experiences. In a video discussing her father and her 2015 album Confident, Demi did admit that she had a lot of mixed feelings when it came to the passing of her father. The star felt very conflicted because her father was known to be pretty mean. However, while he was mean from time to time, he also wanted to be a good person and he wanted to have his family. When her parents divorced and her mom finally did marry her stepdad, he still ended up having a huge heart and would say, I'm glad that the stepdad was taking care of her and he's glad that her stepfather was doing the job he could never do. At number 6 we have Adele. Since Adele's father abandoned her mother when she was a child, Adele has had a pretty strained relationship with her father. With the hopes of one day reconnecting, things would soon turn sour after her father spoke about Adele to the British press. The singer would later tell Vogue, I was actually starting to have a relationship with him and then he effing blew it. He will never hear from me again, however, Adele would later have a change of heart just before her father's passing. After the two met up and they got their peace out, her and her father were finally able to put old things aside and he was able to become a proper granddad and have the chance to meet Adele's son, Angelo. At number 5 we have Jennifer Aniston. Jennifer Aniston became estranged from her mother at a young age after witnessing the dissolution of her parents' marriage. After her parents divorced, Jennifer's mother would become an emotionally draining figure. Her mother would then go on to say things like, honey, take care of yourself better or honey, put your face on. And that's all Jennifer could recall of her mother during her childhood. Eventually, Jennifer and her mom would drift apart. However, after Jennifer matured, she came to the realization that her mom was just trying her best and was simply just trying to be her best. Jennifer realized that her mom was only saying those things because she really loved her. Jennifer understood that the times were also different when her mother was growing up and her mother just simply missed what was actually important because she was holding on and doing the best she could. At number 4 we have Ariel Winter. Since starring in Modern Family, Ariel quickly rose to fame. However, her on-screen life was definitely clearly nothing like her off-screen life. In an interview with Hollywood Reporter in 2017, Ariel would share details about her life as a young actor and how she entered into the spotlight because of her mom. Ariel would explain that it was more just her mom pushing her to take on roles. However, her mom would also force her to dress in revealing clothing and to follow a strict diet at a young age when the actor was 14. She would take her mother to court and her sister Chanel Gray would become her guardian in 2014. By 2015, Ariel would finally be emancipated before turning 18. The actor would then tell Ellen that it was an emotional time for her because it was better for her to be on her own and to have a safer household and support system. At number 3 today we have Meghan Markle. When Meghan Markle finally joined the royal family, the tabloids constantly started to pursue the actor on everything she did. Sadly, when Meghan was hoping she could run away to her family, they would also take it upon themselves to make regular comments about her and sell stories to the press. Even Meghan's father has been highly outspoken about Meghan, criticizing her from stepping down from her royal duties to even wanting to take legal actions just so he could see Meghan's two children. However, Meghan's relationship would really start to strain from her father when he was caught staging photos with the paparazzi before his daughter married Prince Harry. Meghan has urged her family not to discuss her relationships with Harry with the press. She's even said she looks at her own children and she couldn't imagine doing anything intentionally to cause them pain, so that's why it's so hard for her to reconcile with her family. And number two, Bryce Hall. TikTok star Bryce Hall expressed his desire to become a better person after he got in a bit of trouble with the law after spending a day in prison. It convinced him to become a better person. Bryce has also said that he thought a lot about his father and how he was never around. He knew his father was mean and irresponsible, however he still did want a relationship with him. He would then add that his father spent some time behind bars for not paying child support as Bryce was spending his time behind the bars waiting to be released. He recalled it made him feel just like his father and that he found the whole experience mortifying and shameful. Bryce has been pretty vocal about how he truly feels about his father and how his mom raised him with love and care and it helped him become the man he is today. And at number one today we have Brie Larson. Brie Larson has been estranged from her father for years now. In an interview with Elle magazine in 2016, Brie would go on to say that when she legally didn't have to have any visitations with her father anymore, 
she jumped on it. As a kid, Brie tried to understand her father in the whole situation, however she found that her father wasn't doing himself any favors. She then felt like he never really wanted to be a parent and that put a lot of strain on their relationship. Back in 2015, her father acted like they were close and that he really supported his daughter after Brie won a Golden Globe for her best actress. Her father then went on to say that he was really proud of his daughter and that it was a little surreal but now it seemed inedible. At number 10 we have Eminem. Eminem's boundless rage at his mother mirrors the invasiveness of her maternal love. Now Eminem and his mother have been estranged for years following the use of substances, accusations, and lawsuits. When Debbie became pregnant with Eminem at the age of 18, the rapper's father would abandon him right after he was born. Since leaving home, the rapper has gone on to slam his mother in songs for her lifestyle and how she raised him in not so good conditions. Debbie would eventually sue Eminem $10 million, claiming he was slandering her on the Slim Shady LP. Eminem's lawyers would then come out to say that Eminem's life is reflected in his music and everything he has said can be verified as true. Debbie has then gone on to deny the claims, however, the two have since stayed estranged and there's no hope for these two to reconcile anytime soon. Hey Peaches, are you liking this video so far? If so, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. At number 9 we have Miley Cyrus. In the wake of her parents' bitter divorce, Miley Cyrus has completely shut out her dad. After Miley's mom Tish filed for papers back in April to end the 20 year marriage to Billy Ray Cyrus, a bitter family feud would explode and it would be displayed among the tabloids. And with it, Miley would finally cut off all ties she had with her father. Miley is simply done with her father and it has even been said that she's always felt like her father was trying to cash in on her fame, dating back to the days when she played Hannah Montana. Miley believes the only one who ever truly looked out for her was her own mother and that this huge rift may never heal. To add more fuel to the fire, Billy Ray Cyrus is apparently now engaged to singer Fire Rose, who he met while he was working on the set of Hannah Montana. Now, Miley definitely knows something none of us know, and it's leading to her resentment of her father. Many of Miley's friends have described the star of being incredibly stressed and feared that the wild child might just fall off her wagon again, as the family being in tatters could trigger another spiral. At number 8, we have Macaulay Culkin. Macaulay Culkin has discussed his childhood growing up and his relationship with his father and it's heartbreaking to hear. When the former child star sat down with Mark Marin on an episode of his WTF podcast, Macaulay would go on to discuss the relationship he has with his estranged father, Kit. He would say that his relationship was physically and mentally draining, and because his father was his manager when he was younger, he would have to travel with his son to auditions and film sets. Despite the pair working relationship, they were never close. Macaulay would then say he goes all around the world locked in a room with a man who didn't like him. Macaulay's father even went as far to scare him into not using cue cards on SNL, and Kit also tried to use his power as his son's manager to gain creative control over his son's films, which would soon prompt Macaulay to depart from acting at the age of 14. Macaulay also had to erase both his parents off of his bank account just so they would stop eating away at his giant fortune that he earned as a child actor. So it's no wonder why he cut his dad off. At number 7, Drew Barrymore. At the age of 7, Drew Barrymore would become a household name thanks to her role in the film E.T. With Drew's mother never being prepared to be a parent, when raising her daughter she didn't always make the right decisions. After Drew's parents got divorced, her mother would take her to Studio 54 where she would be introduced to illegal substances and encouraged to dance with young famous men. By the age of 8, Drew would start to consider herself as a party girl and she was trying to keep up with her mother's lifestyle. By the age of 12, Drew would go through a stint of rehabilitation, and her mother would go on to lose the credibility as a parent. By the time Drew turned 14, she would be emancipated from her mother, and by divorcing her mother, she would continue to live independently before she turned 16. The star then went on to self-educate herself and later became the actor and woman that most look up to today. Drew has always felt guilty, and she's had empathy and utter sensitivity towards her mother, but realized that the two can't be in each other's lives at this point. And number six, Lindsay Lohan. Lindsay Lohan's relationship with her father Michael is rocky at best, and the two often go years without speaking to each other. Lindsay's rocky relationship with her father dates all the way back to when the actor was a child when Michael began to struggle with substances. Lindsay has once even said that her father put herself and her family through hell following a stint of verbal altercations. In 2012, Lindsay would call her father following an argument with her mom, and her dad would later 
Jenner sell this phone call to the press, which will result in Lindsay to fully cut off her dad by 2016 after she became so fed up with her father spreading rumors about her in the tabloids. I mean, considering her father also posted her number online for everybody to see, I don't blame this star's decision to keep her father out of her life from time to time. And number five, we have Emma Roberts. Not too long after Emma was born, her father Eric Roberts abandoned her, leaving the star to grow up with her mother in Los Angeles. While Emma's parents would become enemies following their split, even Eric's sister Julia Roberts would be against his custody of Emma, and she would even help Emma's mother gain custody of the star. Years later, it would be revealed that Eric was struggling with substances, and that's why his sister didn't support him having Emma during the bitter battle. Despite following her father's footsteps, Emma isn't on best terms with her father, and rather being a father to his own child, he became a stepdad to Keaton and Morgan Simmons. Emma's mom took on the role of a mom and dad, so with her father being absent at most events and taking credit for her career, it only makes sense why the star chooses to hush her father out. And number four, Angelina Jolie. Angelina Jolie's estrangement from her father, Papa John Voight, was finally finalized in 2002 when she legally dropped Voight from her last name. Angelina ultimately decided to petition her last name to be changed just a month before her father's interview with Access Hollywood. During the interview, he would go on to complain that she hadn't let him see his grandchild and he pleaded for her to get help for specific mental problems. Angelina, who co-starred in the movie Tomb Raider with her father, would respond in the statement by saying, I don't want to make public the reason for my bad relationship with my father. After all these years, I have determined that it it's not healthy for me to be around my father, especially now that I'm responsible for my own child. And number three, Tracy Morgan. Tracy Morgan hasn't seen his mom for 21 years. For years, Tracy's mom and sister have been badmouthing him to the media for refusing to help save his mother's home from foreclosure. Tracy became extremely saddened by the untrue stories and he began to grow tired of people questioning his commitment to his family. In an interview with ABC News, Tracy went on to state that the reasons they aren't talking are between them and that he hasn't seen his mother in 11 years outside of a random call here and there. And he's had little to no contact with his sister. Tracy was also helping his mother pay for the mortgage after she lost her job. However, after his mom and sister started talking to the media, Tracy would ultimately change his mind. And number two, we have Frances Bean Cobain. Now, Frances Bean Cobain didn't officially cut off her mother. However, she did have a restraining order in place. Since Frances was a minor at the time, the allegations were remain sealed. However, that didn't stop tabloids from running story about what truly happened. The Daily Mail would claim that Francis took exception to Courtney Love's alleged substance use and that they even cited some of Francis' testimony. Francis would say that her mom rarely ate and she would often fall asleep with lit cigarettes in her mouth and how she was afraid something bad would happen under the care of her mother. It was also then claimed that Courtney's actions led to the passing of two family pets and this would leave her daughter to file for the restraining order so that that her grandmother and aunt could be temporary guardians so she could get away. And at number one today, we have Liv Tyler. Liv Tyler didn't even know Steven Tyler was her father until she was 11 years old. Until that point, she believed that Todd Rudgren was her biological father. While Todd always knew there was a chance he wasn't Liv's father, he signed the birth certificate and gave her his last name and stepped in to raise her as his own. When Liv met Steven when she was eight years old at one of Todd's concerts, she fell madly in love with him and would even go on to buy posters and talk to them. While Todd knew her father's true identity, he decided to keep it a secret due to Stephen's reported substance use. In 2009, Liv would say that in the past few years, we haven't been very close. He's also been going through some things on his own and he hasn't been around that much for us. So that's been hard, but I probably shouldn't be talking about this. I wish he was around more to know Milo more, but he has to go through what he goes through.